Well, PJ, we've gone back and forth. The Warrior Princess is, can be quite frightening as long as the Terminator, but you're going to have to put it out there. You're going to have to uh, get off that fence. Who's going to win this one? Oh, I mean, it's such a tough one to call because the only issue I feel for Shibini is the ankle. I think Gohar's going to put that under a little bit of pressure very early on. I'm going to go for a Gohar win. I just feel that that match yesterday will release her a little bit. And I think I think she'll bring that ankle into play. And I, I just feel like the pace will just be a little bit too much. I'm going to go for a four. I'm going to go for a five gamer, Joey. You are. We've not had a, we've not had a belter of a five setter yet uh, this week in the ladies. So I feel that it's time. Awesome. I hope we do get that five game you're talking about. Danielle Latorno is in the commentary box. I'm going to be joining her very very shortly. These two players have played against each other 22 times. Definitely not strangers to each other's games. Shubini coming out on top with 16 wins. Gohar with six. We've seen her come across more frequently, winning a few more of the recent matches. Four of these matches have gone the distance. Five games. I have a feeling we are going to see another five-game match tonight. And our central referee for this evening is Sheldon Anderson. And our video referee is Wayne Smith. Well, it is a packed house here tonight at the Spectre Center. I'm sure it will liven up. It's been a great week of squash, and we've seen the crowd get very excited, especially for the American players. But it is a final match, and it is going to be a banger. This US Open women's final live from Philadelphia for the 2022 edition. Naronga Hart, US the world Open number one from Egypt, taking on final match. the current world champion, the number two seed, Noor El Shabini, also from Egypt. Egypt to receive best of five games, La Ball. Well, we're into it, Danielle. PJ's going for a Go Hart victory in five. What are you thinking? I have the exact same thought as PJ, which is rare. It is rare. That's extraordinary. Who would have thought? <laughs> What's yours? You put me right on the spot there. You're not meant to ask me straight away. <laughs> well, before they get into it, and you can see who is playing better. No. Yeah, I, I, um, I've gone backwards. I've gone back and forwards with it. And again, I have to agree with you, with you, both of you. It's the ankle that could be an issue, and that's not to take anything away from Goha, because as Goha says, she's played Shabini when there's been even more issues than just a, a bit of a, a bit of a tweaked ankle, and she's come out second best. The if she plays like she did yesterday, Goha, I feel that she'll she'll win. Yeah, I agree. And one thing we've seen from Gohar recently is more variety in her game. And if she's able to unsettle Sherbini, use the front of the court, and then take away some rhythm, I think she'll be very fortunate. You see her already Stroke moving Sherbini to the front of the court, this firing in that post. This part of the game, which has been apparent with Gregory Gaultier, is that kind of real intensity she's got it from the work well somebody's finding something funny two four in the auditorium that actually sounded like the local historian Jim Zug yourself in that one Mr. Shrubini yeah no ball was in the back and you trapped yourself across oh that's beautiful really cutting the ball across it's a nice variation we've seen her go for the cross court Seven, Nick three. and that was just beautiful. Oh, 
Yeah, good. Yeah, good. No, no. No, I said good. Yeah, she's come out of the blocks brilliantly. She's come out of the blocks exactly as she finished yesterday. Do you think she's still mad at us for predictions yesterday? Oh, most definitely. I mean, that, that will, uh, you know, once you get back on the tour, Danielle, obviously you're going to be in, come up against Gohar. You'll uh, we'll give you as much support as we can, but unfortunately I think she'll terminate you. does she's coming back again yeah you can't count her out such good awareness down and out and being outplayed and she's turned it round. she's within two points at the back end of this first game oh she needed that there was the Hand outburst out 10, from seven game ball the wrong go oh, that was a poor service surprise really on that serve same, but she definitely needed that. You could feel that tension building up in her as Shurbini was coming back, and nice release there. Three game balls for Gohart. No let. 11-7, game to Gohar. You're coming across the balls to the back. Well, Gohar couldn't get out yeah, the court quick enough. Issue. That caused the problem. Yeah. It's a normal drive. yeah, I just looked where you went and where the ball was. That's why the decision is. Yeah, not from where you were going. That's why it's no let. Issues, no let given. No review from Shabini. So the number one seed leading the number two seed by one game to love. Gohar leads. Well, Gohar got love. the first game that she went out very quickly to take. Ball ball. Despite a bit of a comeback from Norel Shabini. And Shabini's start to this second has got to be right up there. I do think that first game was crucial to Nuran Gohar. We saw it yesterday against Norel Tayeb as the ball softened up. Oh, what a beautiful finish from Norel Shabini. And out, one love. She's took this so far forward. She's really stepping out on that backhand volley. Almost looked on balance, one leg coming up in the air. There was so much force on that shot. But as I was saying, as the ball softened up, I think it will favor Nurel Sherbini. So if Nuran Gohar, as she was able to get that first game, really benefits her. Stroke to yeah, she's a very good front runner. Not out of way in time. Well, this is the start. Well, look at that. And out for one. It's very positive from Shrabini. She's stepping up the court a lot more, and that could come from that physicality that she has improved upon with out. Greg Goche, but she's stepping up, which some players don't do against Nuran Gohar because she hits such good deep length and with pace, but Nuran Shabini's really not shying away from Two, that pace, just willing to take it in. Let, no, you stepped into her when she could have got that. 2 4. Gregory Gaultier, he does play every rally with his players.
in the pinch. This is crucial. This second game is so important. The dynamic of the match with too much deficit if it was to be. And there's another error on the backhand side. It is so impressive with Nur Shabini how she's able to manipulate that racket head speed at the last minute to create that variation because she is always in the same position. Just slightly missing that last one. There's very little backswing. Gives you best time to kind of see what she's going to do. This is a lovely one too. Good work from Goha though, keeping herself. Oh! Stroke to Sherbini. Yeah, no, it came off into the middle of the court. You so she's shaking her head and not going for a review. I don't know how she's able to see the ball. I know when I have my Eight, hair six. in a ponytail, it just gets all over my face and it seems to unface her. Yeah, PJ had the same problem back in the early 90s. I wish I could have seen that. <laughs> I imagine you might have an issue like that once in a while. <laughs> well, cannot Nine, see six. her losing the second game from this position now that we're at the back end, Danielle. No, she plays the big points very well. Oh, beautiful. That was really quite cool. Love that variation on and the backhand. Seven, nine. Beautiful power drive and then deceiving Shabini. Very smart time to use it. Oh, it's too good. So good. She had to wait on her shoulder. Go hard. She was waiting to see if this ball was going to go short. And, ten, seven, game ball. and then, of course, sending the ball to the back of the court, trapping it, and then the quality of the shot, inch perfect. Three game balls to level up. This is a very tidy final. Oh, wow. His feet were going like the clappers. And out, eight, ten, game ball. Full stretch, good strong lunge. Oh, there's the error. Can't believe it as well. It was around the half court area, which is kind of feeding territory for Shabini. It was a fierce rally, though. Lots of pressure from Nuran Gohar. 9 10. Well, look at the contrast. Shabini taking her time Game coming ball. back. Go hard bouncing the ball. <laughs> Such different personalities. It's what makes a great rivalry. It does. Lovely contrast between the two personalities, as you say, and styles of play. Oh, she's got it. Oh. oh. Yes, let. No, it's in your body. She's clear in the way. We've got a review. <laughs> Touche. Got a review. This is going to be a massive decision. Well, I'm definitely on the edge of my seat. This is a good shout here from Shabini. So she's played the ball intentionally down the middle. Goha's backing off, catching it on a racket. Do you think the racket was up quick enough? And there's enough space for her to swing.
Yes, let decision upheld. Cherbini has three reviews remaining. Yeah, it's quite hard to decide for that one. I think that's fair. Still a game ball for Shabini in this second. What? Stroke to Shabini. 11 9. Game to Shabini. Gets the stroke. Furious. From Goha because she was coming back and getting so, so close, but yet yeah, just mistiming this one. Overstretching. And Shabini on it very quickly to take the stroke. 24 minutes. And this match is starting to really, really hot up. One game apiece. Daniel being having been a little bit before and it's a horrible feeling I'm imagine. <laughs> oh one hundred percent. It's a danger zone. Well most of the court is a danger zone for Neural Sherbini, but that shot in particular is so hard to read and she waits for you to come back to the tee before pushing you back. Wow. That's fierce. It is. But much needed. She's got to keep alert. Go hard. She knows it. Leaping on this, a rare kind of Anyone poor choice of shot. It requires from this much debate. Often, best to just go with a let. Oh, wow. Crowd like that one. Six eight. Oh, that is outrageous. Yeah, yes, stroke to Shabini. I couldn't believe she got that. I didn't think Gohar was going to get that drop shot from Shabini. It was so short. I agree. Seven eight. That's just impressive such amazing touch oh she did it was a very very good get but couldn't quite get out of the way stroke given <laughs> one point separating them trouble Defense from Goha. Very good reset. This is brutal. Very, very high tempo stuff. Oh, oh she's at the top of the tin. Clipping the top of the tin. A very physical rally. Probably the most physical we've had in this third End game. Nine seven. Very rare does she make those errors at such crucial times, Danielle. That was a huge rally. Oh, great choice. Yeah, it was good pressure there from Goha. Slightly kind of laboured movement into that front right-hand corner, just leaving herself exposed. Couldn't quite get out quick enough. Goha on... Accelerating on. Three game balls for a 2-1 lead. And another tin. 11-7. Game to Gohar. Slightly delayed. Yalla. Gohar leads two games to one. Which means, come on. From the wrong Gohar. But what an important third game. And two kind of uncharacteristic errors from Shabini at such a crucial time definitely not used to seeing her frustrated like that either 
38 minutes. Gohar not asking for the new ball. 2-1 lead for the number one seed. Gohar leads. Two games to one. Gohar to serve. Love all. Love all. Well, Noren Gohar having a two to one game lead, really hunting for her third US Open title. Yeah, big time. What an opportunity for Gohar that if anyone can answer the cause, it's this ridiculously tough 26 year old that is had a couple of careers within a young age. I mean, the experience that Shabini's got is beyond extent. So I, I couldn't believe, looking back at the past champions, seeing that she lost out in the final in 2014, Norel Shabini. Yeah, I mean, she came onto the scene at such a young age, even winning the World Journey Championships only at 14 years of age. One love. She's so skilled and has been forever. And has been in so many difficult positions. We've seen her come back before, so who knows, it could happen again. She's really getting stretched here, Neural Shabini at the front of the court. But Noren Gohar going short one too many times. She was trying to do a floating post nick, but it, very ambitious from that area, even for Shabini. Yeah, there's times I feel she's starting to try and play at the same pace as Gohar and play into her game, but there she's, she's trying to add the variety, but just not finding it. You wonder if there's some doubt creeping in. Oh my goodness gracious me, that is so flat. Definitely don't want to be the front wall. Five, three. No, that was hit with 110 percent power. Left box, 6-8. Well, two points between them. Yeah. Didn't even move for that. It was a bit of hold in the swing of Gohar. She just slightly paused and then whipped it through. Very, very subtle pause. Oh, that's yeah, amazing. It's, it's, it, sorry, Danielle. She's so impressed by the end game from Gohar. Match ball. So impressed. Yeah, it's just been an amazing performance. Four championship balls for the world number one. Trouble. Well played. Gohar's taken a third US Open title. Terrific performance from the world number one. What a stomping ground for her. Last two US Opens have gone to Gohar. Now she's taken a third. There's her husband. A high achiever in sports in his own right, being an Olympic fencer. Yeah, very impressive. Thoroughly deserved for Narongo Hart. In the battle of the Egyptian women, the number one seed overcoming Norel Shabini, the number two seed, by three games to one.
Well, Naron Gahar dominating this event. The Egyptian women have dominated it since 2017. Nor El Taib taking that victory with alongside her husband making history in that year for, for the second year running here at the Arlen Spectre National Squash Centre. Gohar takes her third US Open title. Norel Shabini can't quite convert yet. A fourth runner-up position for her, the first being back in 2014 against the great Nicole David. Well, Naron, after her courtside interview, will be coming up to the studio. That was quick fire. You can get out of breath slightly going, going up the stairs, but terrific performance there. And, and we went with the, the run of the seedings with the number one seed. She was just that bit healthier and positive in the accuracy levels. It was brilliant, particularly the back end of the fourth game. Yeah, she really stepped it up, and you could tell how much she wanted, really cheering herself up, and she always brings such a nice intensity to the game, and it's nice to see it come together. She was attacking, she was hitting her short shots, not just playing to the back, and just beautiful, beautiful squash. Yeah, it's very, very reassuring to see Goha hitting this type of form as she is the world number one, and with the chasing pack as well, it just adds to the quality of the women's the women's game, Danielle, and I mean, you must be very proud being soon to be back on the tour yourself after coming back from injury and seeing the level that it's just going up every tournament. I say this, but it, it is the level just keeps going up and up. And I'm sure with Shabini, we'll see a, a, a greater improvement and response from her towards the middle stage of this season. Well, it's so great to see there is a lot of depth on the women's tour, and there's such a battle, especially among those top three women. And you never know who's going to win. And I think it's so encouraging for our sport to have matches like these that really get the crowd engaged and bring such good intensity. Well, talking of intensity, we've got uh, Naron just uh, courtside with me. Naron, I can welcome you in in a, in a more relaxed fashion. Now I don't feel so intimidated. And also, I actually went for you to win this one, by As the way. So uh, that was uh, superb. You carried on that form from yesterday through. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's so hard against Noor. Uh, uh, it's, uh, she, she's the one who knows how to win titles, even if she's not playing her best. So it's more of a mental than anything uh, with her. And uh, I was really happy with the way I played. Uh, it's such a joy to play against her. Uh, I actually missed a bit our finals and our rivalry from last year. It brings the best out of each other. And uh, yeah, she's a great player and uh, it was very enjoyable out there. Now, you are only the second woman to win the U.S. Open title three times. It must feel incredible. How are you going to celebrate? Uh, we will let this to my husband. We'll see uh, how he, he's going to celebrate this with me. I mean, uh, he told me if you win today, you're going to have a good surprise. So we'll see. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> really, are you going to hold him to it? Because we know, yeah, you're going to definitely hold him to that. Um, just, just with, with the rankings and, and the points, you'll see aware that you're the, the first lady to win this three times. Um, do you look a lot at the rankings every kind of, you do? Do you, you don't, you don't, you don't get caught up with all that. You just literally focus on what you're doing. You don't start to look and see where you might be one week to the other. Now it's changed as well with the rankings. Uh, honestly, obviously I don't want to lose my number one spot uh, under any circumstances, but, uh, when I think about them ranking too much, it puts extra pressure that I don't really need. I feel like, Okay, I go, I go into a tournament, I wanted to win this title. I think about this way more than anything because if I win the title, I get the maximum points. So it works. So I don't really think about the ranking because it's just the, the, the result of what's going to happen. So I'm just focused on what I, I have in my hands and I, I should perform well to win. So that's how I think about it. Yeah, it's brilliant. So, uh, well, we really, really appreciate you playing like this. And Danielle's absolutely over the moon as well because she knows that <laughs> when she does play you at some point, you're going to go slightly easier on her because she predicted a win for you today as well. But uh, enjoy yourself, and I hope you have a, a nice time before the next tournament, which will come thick and fast. Thanks. Thank you very much. Well Congratulations. done. Congratulations.